always love welcoming our first guest, a treasured member of our Hallmark family who we've seen in many Hallmark movies like Mingle All the Way and many, many more. She's got a new movie, Winter Love Story. It's premiering this Saturday night at 8, 7 Central right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back the amazing Jen Lilly. Yeah, Jen. Welcome, Jen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, you were here last week, and you were helping us kick off the uh, amazing Winterfest yes. movies. But yes. now we get to dig a little bit deeper into a winter love story and some of the behind-the-scenes stories. Remind everybody what it's about. Okay, my character, Cassie Winslet, is a bit of a wallflower. Her mom is a famous, famous author, uh, played by Mary Margaret Humes, who I adore. She's wonderful. She's amazing. Um, and Kevin McGarry, Kate plays a very successful author, Elliot Summersby, and we go on a book tour together, and I'm terrified the whole time, and he is smooth as a cucumber, and of course, he, he teaches me how to not be so nervous, and I learn a lot, and we fall right. in love. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, we have a clip <laughs> of, um, of Cassie and Elliot on the way to Cassie's first television Ooh, interview. It's a big where, deal. Like you said, it's a big deal. Yep. You were super nervous. So nervous. And Elliot's like, come on. You yeah, he's a that. pro. Let's take a look. Well, I hope that you get comfy, Bungie, because it is going to be a long ride. Actually, the first leg's pretty short. You read the itinerary, right? Oh, Piper sent it to me this morning, but I didn't have a chance with all the packing. Well, I hope you packed a life jacket, because they are throwing you in the deep end. What do you mean? I don't want to go in the deep end. I want to get out of the pool. How can you be so calm? You get used to it. Piper! How are my two favorite authors? I think I'm gonna be sick. Why don't you do it now before you got on TV? You're not helping. Just take a deep breath. That's it. And another one? Okay, now when you get out there, don't look at the cameras. Just look at Samantha. Samantha? The host. She's gonna ask you about your book, like what inspired it, what's your routine, easy stuff. Just pretend like you're talking to one of your friends. One of my friends. Got it. Okay. You ready for us? Okay, be good, Glenn. How does he make everything look so easy? That's Elliot. Yeah. That is so fun. I'm sure you were just as nervous coming to sit down and talk right. to us by before we this do interview. That to you, yeah, yeah, always. Yeah. Especially <laughs> Debbie, you know. Yeah. We don't yeah. like each other at all. At yeah, all. that's right. You guys don't get along at all. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm Virginia connection. Let me just say, yeah. you're so great. I mean, you're such a great actress, but Thank when you, you have a chance to play like kind of I don't know, comedy yeah, or the so nerves or all these. I mean, you, you really do shine. You really oh, do. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you were born to do comedy. It's true. Like, we can't you. be the first people who've told you that. You're so good at that. Now, there's so many things to discuss in that clip, but you, you, you would be uh, remiss if you did not talk about the adorable doggy in the back seat. Yes. You, what was the doggy's name? Bungie? Bungie. Okay, so this is so fun. In the original script, the dog's name was Shakespeare, but the, the actual dog's name is Bungie, and, and she was still in training, so we wanted to call her Bungie. So I'm on the plane, I'm reading the new draft of the script, <laughs> true story, and I see that her name is Bungie, and I burst into tears <laughs> as if, like, somebody had died. I was so excited. Not that I would be excited about that. <laughs> no. no. But you know, like, you people know literally means. by me were like, and I was like, oh, it's okay, it's just, um, like, getting the wife by texting my you, like, sister. Tissues. I'm, like, texting my sister, my mom. I was like, oh, my gosh, the dog's name is Bungie. And I was excited, I have to clarify, because our dog growing up, one of our dog's name was Bungie. Aww. And for the exact same reason, Bungie used to jump off of really high things, so he was a bungee jumper. And my sister, though, the reason I love this dog so much is because my sister watched Beauty and the Beast, like, every day when she was two, at least five times a day in my memory. <laughs> Probably not that much because my parents were great parents, but I feel like she watched it, you know, 17 times a day. Well. And so she was two, <laughs> learning how to talk, and she would call the dog and she'd go, Bungie! <laughs> Come here, Bungie! Like With Lumiere. a French accent? Because of Lumiere. Yes, because of Lumiere. And so, so I, I just loved that the dog's name was Bungie. I mean, it was very hard for me to that? pronounce the name correctly on set. I wanted to be like, Bungie, you know. But what are the, really the chances? I know. What, what are the like odds? Bungie coming to visit you. I know. <laughs> it was it was amazing. So I was very fond of that dog. So, you know, I, I want to discuss a little bit about the clip that we saw where you had stage fright. Now, yes. She had extreme stage fright just about to go on to a, a morning <laughs> talk show. Yes. But people that don't know you would not imagine that you actually also suffer from stage fright acting and singing. It's kind of hard to believe when you see you sitting here, you know? I do. Uh, when I did have done theater, I always ask the lights to be so bright that I can hardly see if I'm going to walk off the stage, you know, because <laughs> I don't want to see the audience. Um, 
Yeah, I suffer stage fright a lot, but it's something that I've worked on. I'm not afraid of the cameras. You know, interviews are easy for me because I'm talking to people. Mm. You know, it's, it's very easy. But um, it, so I did relate to my character in that way. And when I'm singing, um, the way I get over it is I just, um, all of my music is to help children in foster care and orphans. So I just always tell myself, you know, before I go on, you just have to act confident, you know, kind of play a character, and then I'll be like, it's, it's for the children, so. Right, exactly. You know, it's not it's about interesting, you. It's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Getting yeah. the attention off oneself and putting yeah. it onto others, it's so it's helpful, easy. isn't it? Yes. It, that's, a, that's a great point. And right. you, You've shared with us many times your passion uh, for foster care. Yes. And you wanted to take an opportunity now to remind everybody how important it is to donate both time yeah. and money, especially after the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we all, a lot of us will donate year-end giving. Um, you know, we all like to give around the holiday season, but all of these charities, you know, January rolls around yeah. and they still have a budget. And, you know, if you don't have money to give because you've, Chris, Christmas is a, is a, in the, in the holidays in general, they're very expensive. But yeah. I always tell people as their New Year's resolution, you can really roll in time, you know. I know time is money, but honestly, if you volunteer your time, it's just amazing. You're going to meet amazing people and you're going to leave the world a, a better place. That is actually a photo of me. Um, with one of my special friends at Child Help, which is like their big brother, big sister program. Mm -hmm. Child Help is a, the longest and largest running nonprofit yeah. for anti-child abuse efforts in the United States. They are currently selling, celebrating their 60th anniversary. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And they've less, rescued 11 million children since they started. And wow. they're, yes, and the founders are currently that's nominated amazing. for their ninth Nobel Peace Prize. That's I mean, incredible. Gosh, they're amazing. So I'm wonderful. an ambassador for Child Help. Yes, so they're yeah, an incredible yeah. organization. I'm a foster parent through them. So that's I incredible. just tell people, you know, they're an amazing organization. There's also a website called uh, charitynavigator.org. You can look up anything that you're possibly interested in. You just type it in, whether it's it's dogs or you know, therapy or, or whatever it is. If you're like, I just want to pick up trash, that's great. We need you. Go to charitynavigator.org and you can type in what you're interested in and they will send you all of the legitimate charities um, that are available. John, you're so awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a great actress, a great singer, and, and you still have time to dedicate your time to others, which is so important. I think that's the most important thing on, to do on this planet, you know? And I'd like to also take some time to congratulate you on some huge news that you yes. have. Can you share it with everybody? Yes. Can we share so, it now? Yes, okay, okay. I'm so excited <laughs> because it's 2019, and um, what I am looking forward to most is that we have just officially signed our adoption placement papers for my son, so we're awaiting official adoption, uh, you know, day. We haven't had adoption day. That's yet. a beautiful thing. That is so beautiful. It's been over two years. It's been a long road.